All right, welcome back. In this session, there's EG right there. We stated, let's go to the map. We stated we were going to take this path. So many ways you can go from here. I talked about it in the last video. So we're going to head off and we're going to cut through the ruins, jump down here safely, and get on the way. Get on the way. Right, here we go. Dodge these guys. Dodge these guys, the wolves. All right, run over here. Right about here. It's my marker. Double jump so we land safely. Again, we could go that way, grab a somber three. There's so many options. Go up there, grab a tear uh, for our, our physic. But we're going to run this way. So we're heading northeast, and uh, let me not miss anything. And we're going to grab a somber four off this chair. As soon as you, there, you can start to see it glowing. Grab this. All right, very nice. Oop, grab, grab, grab it, grab it. Did you get it? Yeah, you did. Good. We get faster with the buttons. Faster with the buttons. Um, then come over here and grab a grace. I'm just going to touch it. We're going to mount up. And we're going to continue northeast up the canyon, up the river. So these guys here are pretty slow. Try not to aggro them. They're really asleep. Huh. Interesting. Really asleep. Normally they're huffing and a puffing. So I hope that's not a sign of bad things to come. Oh, there's one moving. There's one. There they go. All right, they must have heard I was here. So keep running, and we're going to see there in the distance a golden tree with a golden seed. Yeah. And then. Uh, Dodge these guys once we run through. There we go. He's being poison. He's being poison. Come in here, grab this shiny. Smithing five. And then grab the butterflies. And to just touch the grace. J -j -j just touch the grace. Is it darker? I don't like the nighttime, but we're not worried about it. Now we're going to run back up the river a little bit. So now we're heading southwest. Trying to remember to grab stuff like the lilies. Anything else we see? Right. And then right here is a path, a road, a ledge on the side of this mountainside. So we're going to take this up and we're going to dance around that guy because he hurts, and I'm not ready for that yet. Um, we have some intelligence in on, on us, some power in our magic spells, but I don't want to take the time. Don't need it. Alrighty, and then come here and talk to this what merchant. I don't want any trouble. We will be back because we get ruin arcs here, cookbook, and. These are very nice to have. Later game, that will be important. Right, and some other things, but don't have the runs to spend right now. Let me go. Let me, let me mount up. All right, then we're going to ride up in here into Bellum Church. Yeah. Yeah. Grab a sacred tear. There we go. And then grab this grace. There we go. And I am going to make it morning. It's late day. We got flask. Sacred tear allows us to replenish, increase how much we replenish. And then let's make it morning. Because we're, we're getting close to a road, and at nighttime has a night rider on it. And I don't want to deal with a night rider. We'll be back later to kill him. He has, a, for melee, an amazing halberd. 
on him. Just amazing. But I'm going this way, stay away from that rider there. And there's another rider on the road right there where the night rider pops. But we'll be back. Coming over here on the other side of the academy, the other gate, and grabbing this grace. Yeah, and then we're going to take off and make a serious jump down for a somber three. So mount up. Right at east. This way. Uh, and you can already start to hear the mausoleum. And we're going to double jump up this. Probably one was good enough. And then just follow in between here. Aim out a little bit. And then jump and jump. And hopefully there was that enough. Oof. Yeah, no fall damage. I've died a couple times. Not doing that right. All right, somber three. Somber three. Very nice. We picked up a three and a four pretty quick. All right, then we're going to ride this way past the mausoleum. About this direction, if you look at the map, we're going right here. Right, right to this cave. All right. So, there you go. about this direction. East, if you will. And right through there to clear that. And there's the cave opening. All right, and we're gonna be back here a couple times. Um, there's a belt bearing in here for infinite amounts of smithing one and two, but we don't need those right now. All right, and if you're not playing magic and don't have the meteorite spell, you probably are. So we're just gonna touch the grace. There we go, could go in. Get a couple of sombers, some other smithing stones right there in the beginning, but nah. We're gonna head up and then step back. I need to get my lantern. It's dark, right? I usually like to keep this down, send it back, back down because I don't plan on coming in through the front anymore. Oh, now we're going to Right along the cliffside here, mountainside, whatever. Um, to our next grace. All right, very cool. Dragonfly here, right towards the red mushroom. We're not going there. We're gonna hang left, right at this opening. Bear left, we're heading south, and. Doesn't really matter. The bottom line is if we go here, we're really trying to get, oh, wait a minute, did I go too far? Right here. Trying to get right in that ballpark. There is a grace there, All right? A couple of uglies on the way, but nothing we can't get around. All right, so just along the left, head towards the, the marker and you know, ride around this, jump over it, whatever. Um, there's a flower here that's going to get angry right there, cast on us. But we're still heading in the right direction. Right. Jump over this. Go on here. Jump over this. Go over here. Grab right that. And there's our grace. There we go. All right, mount up again. Still morning. Still morning time. So we're going to follow the road up and around, right around some wolves. Yep. Hi, doggy. Yeah, nice doggy. Another one. Right up over here. Okay, just split these guys very quickly. Don't stop to say hello, because they want to hit you. And then dodge these guys. We're going to go off to the left. And we're going to get our next grace. Right here. And jump. And then rest. I mean, not rest, just touch. The rest of you want to, if you need to. We're in a hurry. We're in a hairy. 
It's gonna ride this way. All right, stay clear of everybody. Don't want to tangle with that guy. Then keep riding up the road. We're riding, we're riding. And then here, jump up, doesn't matter. You can go right over there if you want. These guys aren't a prop bother, it blows horn. Right, and there's the Church of Vows. Yeah, very important place to be. Uh, at this young age, only in the daytime. So I don't need to rest, just touch it, and we're gonna go in. Now at nighttime, there's an invasion. If you don't see Muriel, this big turtle right here, yeah, run, unless you think you're ready to take this guy on. I'm certainly not. In here, don't need this really, the golden needle. Uh, very late game. It's there, it's a chest. I open it. So here's Muriel. Muriel, Muriel. I welcome you to the Church of Bows. Muriel. So this is where. Well, that yeah, is yeah, yeah, yeah. It is so there's dialogue. All of his dialogue. So here's where we get. Uh, if you turn in our books. Right? So sorcery, he only has two spells on him right now. I haven't turned in anything. Incantation, one. But this is where you give scrolls. So we have the Academy scroll. Oh, what have we here? What have Very we well. here? Yep, yeah, let's look. And here it is. The Great Glintstone Shard. This is what I saved my runes up for. Only need 2,000. All right, nice. We use this spell the rest of the game. That and Roxling. Pretty much all you need, but we'll see. Uh, Swift Glintstone Shard, 600 ruins. Um, this is Carrying Great Sword. I really want this, but it's 10,000. We'll come back later when we have the ruins to spend. All right? So we have made it. We have made it to the Church of Vows. And there's Mariel, Pastor of Vows. And here we go. We have plenty of time. We've got time. Let's go get another memory stone. So we're going to jump all the way back across to this grace right here. And then we're going to go over to this tower on this island for another turtle puzzle. So let's jump over there now. Thank you very much. And as soon as we land, we'll mount up and ride that direction. So you know, if you need to set a marker, the grace is somewhere somewhere around here so we can pretty much see the tower from here and let's take off so we want to stay away from the big octopus squid things um these skeletons will drop down as soon as you ride by if you're close enough we will ride in this way i put my marker in the wrong place you need to go a little further out you can see the grace from here and this dragonfly is chasing me. All right, jump up here. Touch the grace. Is that dragonfly still? Yep, there he is. I'm going to need to rest. No, no, no. And now I can't. Yeah, it didn't give me anything. Eh, eh. So we're going to go ahead and rest. When they get aggro on you, and you're next to a grace, you can't rest. You can't rest. It's very frustrating. Let me get rid of this marker. Okay, we're gonna head up here and trigger the puzzle. This one's a pretty easy one, especially for a mage. So it has been triggered. The skeletons start to pop. They start to raise from the ground. There they come. First turtle is over here. Just ride down the rock. Try not to fall off, and if you fall off, no problem. Oh, and there's one down. I made it, didn't fall. You just ride back around. We're gonna ride over here. These um, skeletons are pretty slow. Next turtle's up in the tree. That one's down. And then the third turtle is right here. Right there. Boom. As soon as you kill all three of them, the skeletons die, go away, disappear, and the seal opens. 
Yeah. Titsus rise. So we're gonna head up the ladder. You know the drill. Climb the tower. Not an elevator here, we have to climb a ladder. All right, we're gonna head up to the top of the tower where we find a chest for another memory stone. There we go, there we go, there we go. Nice. Pour it out of here, hit Y, instantly go back to Last Grace. Hit A twice and land on the grace. All right, cool. Uh, let's have a seat and look at our spells, memory spells. Memorize spell. So we got another one of these. Hmm. We are going to put our great glintstone shard there. Our second priority is rock sling. This one is going to get the glintstone pebble. This one's going to get hmm. Yeah, either one of these. This is just a very low FP cost, five FP cost, and you know, for pulling stuff, killing really simple stuff. That spell works great. All right. That's going to be it for this episode. Pretty short and sweet. In the next episode, we are going to go back to, and if I did it right, see it's already marked, the Farm Great Bridge. Very easy to get to. Makes it much easier to jump across the map. All right. But this is where we farm. Uh, we have the power, and we're going to farm here in the next episode. We're going to uh, spend all of our ruins. How many do I have? Oh, I already spent them. Cool, then that's easy. So we'll be back here and set up for farming this area. This is much better than the ball farm. So until the next episode, thanks for watching. Talk to you all later. Happy gaming.